very much for agreeing to meet us today. All of my questions have been supplied by AOL users. We had 2,500, but I've whittled it down to a short list. Wow. So if you're sitting comfortably. I am, yes. OK. William Perrins from Bridgewater asks, if you could borrow Harry's invisibility cloak for one hour, where would you go and why? Gosh, that's so hard. I could borrow his invisibility cloak for an hour. I guess you just want to be like a fly on the wall, somewhere really interesting, like go to the Houses of Parliament or like like go and watch the Queen or something. I don't know. Just sitting on the Queen. Yeah. Just like Just find out what she gets up to. Yeah. Just kind of like it's quite awful, fun. but people Maybe watch, her and I Prince guess. Philip. Yeah. See what's really Yeah, definitely. See Good what that's answer. like. I'd probably do something like that. Interesting, yeah. interesting. Just I'm nosy. <laughs> I'm really nosy. <laughs> Ashley Streeter from Tunbridge um, mm -hmm. asks What are you asking Santa Claus for this Christmas? Um, I've asked for some perfume. I've asked That's for interesting. Yeah, so it brings me on to something else. Oh, it? good. I've uh, asked for for some new pajamas. <laughs> um, I, gosh, what else? Some quite boring things to be honest. Nothing really that interesting. Um, but essential for the cold winter. Yes, yes, exactly. Um. Jewelry, I think it's the other one. You know, so some nice can't jewelry. really go wrong. Speaking of the perfume, yes. Mummy Begum from London asks, if you had the chance to launch your own perfume, oh, what would you call it, and oh. what ingredients might you use? Okay, a I never would, <laughs> but if I was going to Fact. do that horrendous <laughs> thing, then I would. Gosh, um, I really love the smell of jasmine. I really like roses. Um, I quite like sort of quite sweet, quite fruity, quite kind of like. I don't like perfumes to be too heavy. Like. A summer perfume. Yeah, quite light and summery. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, and what I call it? Oh, um, like nothing to do with me. I call oh, to Emma. Yeah. Oh, oh God, that's awful. <laughs> but yes, quite. But that might be what it was called. Yes. Yeah, I quite like that. I um, moving on swiftly from that. Anyway, from the from the perfume question. But interesting. Good question. <laughs> Jen, uh, Jen Maunder from Bishop's Waltham says, which one spell from the Harry Potter films would be the most useful to you in real life? Gosh, so many of them would be so useful. <laughs> I think the time turner would be really useful in my life. Like when I just want to stop everything, just like take a break. Like, or if I just want to rewind things that I've said or done that I wish I'll I take hadn't. That back. Or, yeah, just I'd like to take back the Oda Emma comment from earlier, <laughs> if possible. <laughs> so that'd be useful for both of us. Yeah. No, I just think that would be brilliant. And I thought Oda Emma was quite witty. I wouldn't worry okay. about it. <laughs> um, Hannah Waterfall from Gillingham in Dorset says, what's the strangest thing that a fan has given you? Bibles. I guess sent a lot of Bibles. Really? Yeah, it's like very peculiar. Multiple Bibles. <laughs> sort of. I think people think you know, we are child stars after all that we kind of need guidance and do so well, I think I'm doing okay. My you know, I'm sure my parents would say different or just other people would say different, but um, you know, but uh, so I have a stack of about three or four, five now I think almost. Yeah. Five Bibles. Yeah. She doesn't need any more Bibles. Yeah. Thank you so much guys, but I'm good on the spiritual guidance. Okay, Jade Sahata from Kintor in Aberdeenshire asks, Did you cry while reading the Deathly Hallow? And if yes, at which bits? Oh my goodness, I cried at so many different points. It was absolutely pathetic. Um, I really did. The, the one that really got me, and I don't know why, was Dobby when he got stabbed and when he died. That was just the end of me. I was hysterical. I was absolutely hysterical. I'm that was a bit just, sad now. Yeah, it just really, really got to me, that bit. Um, I just thought that was just horrendous and very sad. Yeah. Very sad. Let's take a moment on that. Yeah. But finally... Um, Angela Sutherland from Harrow asks, you're cooking a meal for Daniel and Rupert. Yes. What would you make them and what would you drink? I'd probably make them baked beans on toast because that's about the only thing I can they will be pleased. <laughs> reliably cook. And I'm not saying I don't try to cook because I think it's a really nice thing to be able to cook. But um, I get a bit distracted when I'm cooking and it normally turns out really badly. So... Um, probably baked beans on taste and what would they drink? Sounds like a fun time round at Emma's for yes, a fun dinner party. Yes, it is. Anyone who comes for dinner, it's going to be, it's going to be an extravaganza. Um, <laughs> what would they drink? I don't know, you know, they're over 18 now, might pull out a nice bottle of wine. Um, a nice, good vintage. And, uh, yeah, like some nice wine. 
wine and baked beans. Yeah, nice wine, baked beans on toast. Perfect. It's, it's a what, winner. What more do you need? <laughs> Thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you, you too.